There are calls for the City Watchdog to fully publish a leaked report into the treatment of customers by RBS. The focus is on a department of the bank which was responsible for turning around businesses in trouble. The report, produced for the Financial Conduct Authority, suggested the group mistreated many of its clients. Well, RBS denies that claim. Here's our economics correspondent, Andy Verity. From 2008 to 2013, Royal Bank of Scotland moved thousands of business customers to its Global Restructuring Group, or GRG. Many were told it would help turn around their fortunes. But another agenda was at work, the commercial interests of the bank. That created conflicts of interest resulting in poor treatment of some business customers. A confidential report leaked to the BBC two weeks ago found 92% of viable businesses moved to GRG received some form of inappropriate treatment. But further key findings are still to come out. The new chair of the Treasury Select Committee wants it published in full. It's been devastating. Many people lost their businesses, others very nearly saw their businesses go under. And so they will want to see the full facts that have been established in that report we assume. The leaked report was commissioned by the Financial Conduct Authority more than three years ago at the request of then Business Secretary Vince Cable. It found the bank had an intentional, coordinated strategy to focus on its own commercial objectives, giving inadequate weight to the interests of business customers. We know that thousands and thousands of firms were very badly treated by the banks in the financial crisis and immediately afterwards. These things need to be properly investigated. The public need to see that they have been investigated and that action has been taken. So, of course, it should be published. The FCA said it would respond to the calls for publication in due course. The bank declined to comment. Andy Verity, BBC News.